Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So on this video I wanted to show you all how I do my at home pedicure. So I've always done my own nails and toes but with everything going on right now in the world I thought this would be a great video to show you all how you can do your own pedicure too. So this is the one that I have by Dr. Scholes. So I start by using Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt. Um, they do have different um, fragrances that you can get like lavender or um, tea tree. But I just got the regular one. And here I actually added a little bit too much. Um, it really just depends on what you want or what's instructed on the uh, packaging. So next I'm going to be adding a couple of drops of this super rich body wash. Um, it has shea butter, coconut oil. It's one of my favorite washes. So I was like, why not just add it to this concoction, see if it makes my feet softer or, you know, more moisturized. So I'm just going to add a couple drops. Um, you really don't need much and you'll see later why you don't want to add too much shower gel or bubble uh, mixture. You'll see why. And then after that, once the water is at a good temperature, I like my water a little bit on the hot side. Um, not scolding hot, but definitely a little bit more warm than just lukewarm. And by the way, that's not the toothbrush that I use to brush my teeth with. I use it on my edges. Y'all know you got to get the edges right, so yeah. On the inside of this one, there is a fill line, so I just filled it up about halfway if you don't have that fill line. You don't want to go past that point because then once you turn the little jets on, it's going to overflow. So here I am all set up and ready to go. Um, I already have everything plugged in because this is the one with the little jets. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Get the bubbles going, get them flowing. And then my pooch, she's just like so confused. She's looking at me like, mommy, what's going on? But we about to get these feet together. So this is what I was mentioning a little bit earlier about the bubbles and making sure you don't add too much. So this happened and I had to actually get a towel and yeah, but we're still good. Okay, y'all. I turned the little um, jets off. Got five seconds. Just watching my little show. Got my pooch. Oh, time's up. Okay, y'all, so I am fresh out of the water. I'm gonna be using this little kit that I'll leave in the description box. I got it off Amazon, it was about 15 bucks. I'm gonna use this tool um, that pushes back the cuticle. It looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and start pushing back the cuticle. And you do want to have like a cloth or maybe like a towel because you'll get those small white pieces that come up from like dead skin. You just want to be able to wipe them off. I know this is looking super gross, but somebody's got to do it. And I haven't done a pedicure in about three to four weeks. So yeah, it's then built up a little bit. Yeah, so that looks pretty good and we haven't cut any of the cuticle um, I do have a cuticle clipper I'm gonna use when you use this you have to be extremely careful you have to be careful with this tool but I'm gonna um, push the cuticle back for all of my toes and I'll be right back so I just want to show y'all the skin. Y'all see that? I'm going to go ahead and clip it off. It's that simple. Just like that. So I'm not cutting off like a lot. Just, you know, the excess skin. I don't see 
see any additional skin that I need to cut off because I don't want to get too crazy with these. You can hurt yourself. I, I have before I'm just getting crazy with it. Um, so you don't want to end up doing too much. But you can see this one. It has a little skin right there. I'm just going to clip that off. It's that easy. And I know you can see that it needs to be cut and filed. I like to go ahead and take care of the cuticle first because um, after you have soaked your feet, it's nice and soft. And you want to work with your cuticle when it is soft. That way you're not um, damaging it too much. So I'm going to finish that up and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what my little piggies are looking like. And that's just with me getting the cuticle all together. I'm going to actually go back into the water um, after I clip my toenails, clip and file them. Um, because I'm going to then sand the bottom and I'll show y'all the bottom. But for clipping your toenails, it's really just on your preference. I don't like to have them too, too short. And I also don't like to have them too long. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off the big toe. So that's what they looking like so far and then I'm gonna file them real quick so I did go back into the water um, I didn't do the little jets I just put my feet back in the water for about two minutes um, and then after that I'm using the little scrubber that I have here and you can see the dead skin falling I hope y'all not getting grossed out by this it happens okay So they're feeling pretty good. I'm not sure how it's coming across on camera. And then this bottom part right here is from a sock. I don't know why it still has the impression, but that's not my actual foot. Like it's not scaly like that. Okay y'all, so the last and final step is to use some type of cream. I try to avoid using um, lotions because they'll just come right off, but with this 100% uh, shea butter, it is amazing. So I'm going to apply liberally to my heel and then just throughout my whole foot. It makes it super soft. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye!